okay let's 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 check by the way we calculate calculate okay so this is the current result but of course this current result the face envelope calculated is not very good so let's let's check with the petroleum experts calculate flash through separator stage calculate calculate this is okay this is okay exit now face envelope the same fit petroleum experts too so maybe we need to do further modification okay so go back here to generate the profile below select petroleum experts 2 as the profile method and then press recalculate split okay petroleum experts 2 recalculate split plot composition so it's like this zoom okay variables okay go back lab composition and then estimated composition okay lab composition estimated composition so we calculate split plot yeah, it's like this composition in mole percent versus the carbon number Okay, just like this menu. The next, okay, next split the original sudo into six constituent. So split number six by entering split number of six and then clicking set even split, this one, to calculate the split, which groups the profile into the specified number of sudo components. And after that, press auto match this button to adjust the critical properties such that the calculated liquid density is the same as that calculated with the original pseudo component only. Finally, perform the quality checks by clicking quick calculation. Okay, close. Now we will split number six, set even split. Okay, so now we have this one. Okay, C7, C8, C9, C10, C11, C13. Okay, and click auto match. Okay. We calculate and then flash through separator. Calculate, calculate. All right, still quite acceptable. Like this. Okay. And yeah. Please note that this is the case. Please note that in this case, the Petroleum Experts 2 was chosen because it produced the smooth, smoothest overall profile with the data available. Okay. If the composition of higher components was known, then a different profile method such as Whitson, Whitson may have been more appropriate and in, in, and in fact, with the Whitson method, a similar final match can also be obtained. It is also possible to deviate from the reported composition profile to obtain a better match. However, deviating too much may result in certain objectives, such as tracking the evolution of the C7 plus, 
components over time cannot be met, met as the model composition is not representative of real life. From the separator quick calculation, it can be seen that as expected, the calculated liquid density, this one, and the GOR, this not this one, have not match, have not changed significantly, and are thus still close to reported values in the lab report. Still quite close. Okay, but how about the saturation pressure? Okay, now it's it's better. Okay, so from phase envelope calculation it can be seen that splitting the pseudo has slightly increased the saturation pressure, increased, right? 